When migrating from EX Navigation to React Navigation, the first thing I like to do is replace this very handy local alert dialog that I've used extensively in EX Navigation. So basically when I press this alert the thing, uh, we get this little alert bar that pops up on both iOS and Android. And when we start to transition from EX Navigation, that's no longer in React Navigation, so we need to make sure we replace that. To do that, I'll be using the package React Native drop-down alert, and then we'll also be using another package to just make it very simple to use, just like we would use uh, Redux or some other package where providers are involved, so we don't have to constantly pass down a reference to this drop-down alert, and it just makes the actual usage much more like using the show local alert within EX Navigation. So with my terminal open within the project for this transition from EX Navigation to React Navigation, I want to install two packages from NPM and make sure I save those. And the first one is going to be React Native Dropdown Alert, as well as um, Hoist Non-React Statics. And we'll be using that just to make actually using and alerting much more simple. Also make sure you type things in correctly, type them correctly into the actual uh, terminal when you're installing it so you don't get any errors. So we've got our necessary packages installed. Now I want to go and actually check out the alert component that we're going to set up. And this isn't code I came up with. This was uh, from an issue on the React Native dropdown alert package itself. So. If you want to learn more about what's going on, what the what the actual person who wrote this is thinking, um, go ahead and check out this issue. It's number 30 on React Native Dropdown Alert. But we'll just quickly walk through the code, and you can get the actual code from within the blog post where I link to uh, what what this code actually is. So first thing we've got, we'll open up both files. The first thing we've got is this alert provider, and that's just going to allow us to wrap the root of our application, and then we'll be able to then via context via context pass our reference to the drop-down alert to anywhere we actually want uh, to use it within our application. And then if we actually want to use our alert, we'll want to make sure we connect the component we want to use the actual alert from within to go ahead and actually have access to that. So that's what this code is doing. And then I'll actually show you what the usage looks like. So first thing we want to do, we can go ahead and close these. Remember the code is available on uh, GitHub. And then we'll go to the entry point of our app, which is app slash index.js. And in here, what I'm going to do is import my app or my alert provider from components alert. And then we want to wrap the entire application we've got with this alert provider. So we can go ahead and save that. Everything's rendering fine. Now the only place we're using this alert is on this screen one. So we can go ahead to the screens directory and we'll go to screen one. And inside of here we want to import that connect alert component or the connect alert function from our components alert. And then what we want to do is actually go ahead, take that connect alert scroll down to this export default and we're just going to wrap that so connect alert and then we'll pass screen as the argument to that function so we've now got access to the alert with type function on our props and with that we'll actually be able to display the alert via the react native drop down alert package so we can just go ahead and delete this and say this dot props dot alert with type and then this goes into the actual drop-down alerts, but there's a few different options you can pass in here. So we'll just say alert, we'll say hey, and then we can say um, alerting people is useful. Okay, so if I go ahead and save this, now when I press alert with the thing, we get this new alert message. It's very simple to make that transition over. And then if we look at the Android app as well, uh, I'll make sure it refreshed press alert the thing and again we've got that similar alert on both iOS and Android without that dependency on the show local alert that is coming from EX navigation.